So we were looking at the results from a single test run. Here now we're looking at a test that's been run over and over again, right? We kind of glanced at this earlier, I kind of peeked at this. What we can see here is all the different test runs, right? And as I hover over a test run, I can see how it shows up on the graphs over there. Or, likewise, I could hover on the graphs and it'll highlight which test run I'm looking at, right? And I can look at a variety of different metrics here. I can even make sure that, like, for instance, test duration. Here's obviously a test that was canceled early, right? So that one, I'm going to be less interested in the data from that one. But I can, at a glance, see how we're doing. We're, we're getting better here. We had a big problem. We figured it out. And, and since we did that, um, we've gotten great throughput response times are awesome, everything's good, right? So that's the idea behind the trends. Now, let's figure out how we would compare two tests side by side. So if I go to this one really bad test here, and I come up here and I say I want to do a compare report, right? Um, I can uh, I can say, you know what? I want to look at this test run and compare the two together, right? And we can see that the users ramped the same, but look at the response time difference between these two tests, right? And so this lets us overlay two, three, four, five, you can actually do up to 10 tests that you can overlay on each other and see how different metrics compared, right? Clearly hits per second was much greater on this blue run that was done on the 31st than it was on the yellow run. And we can see the yellow run had these horrible response times, right? So this lets us compare two tests side by side. Now, by default, it's gonna do all the labels in the test, but I could actually choose to focus on say just the purchase flight uh, label, right? So I'll get rid of the all and we'll compare the purchase flight labels on these two tests, right? So you can actually choose, and I could do two of these labels, you know, right? So you can make these as complex or as simple as you want, but it lets you tease out the data and compare test runs. Um, uh, super important to be able to kind of see how you're doing from one test run to another, right?